What is going on guys, I'm Mahano and today we're going to be talking about the New World update. This is update 1.0.2 and there's quite a few things in this update and I'm gonna, we're going to go over it, we're going to discuss everything. But first, I want to let you guys know that the, uh, the second New World Twitch drop is now available. Or if you have a Amazon Prime subscription and you've linked it to your Twitch account, then head over to the link in the description and then you will get a pirate sword, free crests and a cutthroat emote for New World. Pretty cool, free stuff, free skins for New World and a nice cool little emote. So yeah, happy days. So let's get into the actual updates. There is quite a lot here. So, first of all, there's uh, faction missions. So they've adjusted the rate of influence gain over time so that it, was, it will continue to require significant effort over time to flip territory into conflict state. So, you know, they've reduced the amount of influence increase over time significantly for attacking factions. This is to account for a bug they found where the increase was multiplied much faster than intended over time. They removed the decrease in influence over time for defending factions. So I guess it's going to make it harder or easier to attack factions? I don't know. Uh, that's just went over my head. But, you know, I'm just reading out news. I don't have to understand it, right? <laughs> I probably should, to be fair. But anyway, so let's go over the bug fixes. So general bug fixes fix an issue where players could respawn as a corpse. I've never had this issue, but it looks pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool, to be fair. Fix an issue where the tier 3 fishing treasure chest wouldn't fight back after being hooked. Fix various localization issues and text fields. Fix an issue causing players kicked, suspended, banned, or removed from the game by easy anti-cheat. Uh, and not receiving clear communication. Uh, additionally, a message has been added so players can better understand why they have been banned. Fix an issue causing territory influence. Territory influence to be reset after an invasion. Fix an issue where players are attempting to take a split amount of stacked items from a different settlement their faction owns. They were charged for the entire cost of the items in the stack. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fix the game crash caused by a player targeting another player with a healing effect at the exact moment they fast traveled or teleported away. Fix an issue reducing variety and potential quality of loot obtained from game modes and chests within the world. That could be interesting. Fixed an issue causing some crafting bonuses to not provide the minimum intended values. Fixed an issue where overflow items in storage transferred to a different territory. Fixed an issue where petting Barkamedes caused the camera to jitter. That's, that's the biggest priority is making sure that you pet Barkamedes and don't bug out. Fixed an issue causing the ice pylon ability to not cool down appropriately. Uh... Fix an issue where settlement storage can become massively overflowed by expired contracts. Fix an issue where players' mo movement could stutter after becoming encumbered from logging. The amount of times I say fixed an issue, it's in this. I, I apologise, guys. Fix an issue where there were not enough chests at Hapless Homestead to fulfil faction quest requirements. Hmm. Fix an issue causing players to randomly teleport. Fix an issue where players disappear if standing still when a campsite turret blueprint is being held. Fix the visual issue causing repeater turrets to appear as if they were firing projectiles at an angle that did not align with the turret. And fixed miscellaneous game crashes. Fortunately, I don't think I have come across any of these bugs. To be completely honest, I, yeah, I, I don't think I have. But that's, you know, if you've come across these bugs... There you go, it's probably fixed. Happy days. <laughs> so there's AI fixes. Fix an issue where marsh jaw respawns slower than intended at flatfish fishery. Fix an issue causing certain bears to respawn faster than intended. And fix an issue causing twice the intended number of boars to spawn at the bo boar's home point of interest in Restless Shores. So I actually made a video about that the other day and it was a, it was a cool little farm. Definitely bugged. But I don't, if it's, you know, half the amount of boars, I still think it's going to be a good little farm. 
So there, are, there is now there is store fixes. Fix an issue where players could be prompted to purchase an item they had previously started the unlocking process on in the in-game store when trying to unlock another item immediately after. Good. Fix an issue causing store previews for skins to not work correctly when the player was actively wielding a weapon. Fix an issue where the Righteous Guardian armor skin would not change color in war. Fix an issue where the Runic bear, bear armor skin would not change color in war. And fix an issue causing incorrect poses when previewing store items. Thanks for your support. We'll see you in Eternum. So, there's quite a few stuff going on there. Quite a bunch of bug fixes and, you know, just fixes in general. Um, they also announced that they've added more stuff, they, you know, the, they've... They've implemented more back work for the player transfer, so hopefully we'll be seeing that very soon. I've got a couple of friends waiting to join our world and come hang out with our company. But that's, that's pretty much it. Make sure you claim your Twitch Prime drop. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really, really does help. And I'm going to be doing videos on, you know, all the updates, any news that comes out. So if you want to, you know, stay up to date with New World News and you can't be asked scrolling through the forums and Twitter and all that stuff, then make sure you subscribe. I'll be covering as much as possible. And if you want to see me play New World Live and other games, go check out my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash the Mahano. Anyway, guys, I'm the Mahano and uh, goodbye.